Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kirsten and today's video is going to be a foundation review on this LYS Serum Foundation. So I picked this up on the last day of the Sephora sale. I wasn't planning on picking anything up just because it was on sale, but this was already on my wish list or loves list and I wanted to try a new foundation. So I did go ahead and purchase it for that 15% off is the level that I have. And I also, I ordered this because I was ordering a face wash for myself off of Sephora. So I did try the Inky List Oat Cleanser. Some, I'll, it's like a cleansing balm. I think it's like oat milk or oat cleansing balm. I'll put the picture here. But today we are going to be testing out this foundation on camera. And then I'm going to give you guys a wear test at the end of the today. I will be spending the whole day outside for the most part. So we're going to put this to the test. I'm going to be going on a hike today. So we're going to be getting a little bit sweaty today and we'll see how this holds up so with that being said let's just go ahead and jump into it okay so all i have on my skin right now is this spf this is from neutrogena it's their ultra sheer dry touch sunscreen and it's the spf 70 so i've been using the milani spf bff sunscreen but it's only 30 spf and i'm going to be outside most of today so i wanted to have something more like 70 spf um just a side note neutrogena is not cruelty free but I need to be protecting my skin so i needed one that was higher spf so i do have this just when i'm going to be like outside and i i would just feel better about having more protection on my skin so i put that on about 10 minutes ago so it's time to jump in to the foundation and i am so excited about this so this came in the mail yesterday and i did put some on the back of my hand just to see if the shade looked okay I think it's gonna be okay. I got the one that's meant for fair skin with golden undertones and I think of myself more as like neutral undertones. I do have some redness on my skin but as far as like where I'm not super red to me it looks more neutral than like pink or anything so I'm definitely not on like the golden spectrum but it was the only one in stock when I ordered it and I would have gotten like the shade next to it, which is just the fair skin for neutral undertones. So anyways, I have LG1 and I think it's gonna work. So like fingers crossed. I'm not gonna use a primer today. Like I said, I've got the sunscreen on, but I'm going to use a brush on one side and a sponge on the other. I typically use a sponge, but every now and then I feel like using a brush. And since this is a serum foundation, it's supposed to be just light to medium coverage. And I don't want to shear it out too much with the sponge before I have an idea of like what it would be like. So for starters, I'm just going to put one pump on the back of my hand. So one full pump. And then I just want to mention this packaging is so nice. I know everyone keeps talking about the triangle. It's super unique. It's really pretty. But I love this packaging. Like I like how the pump is like a light pink. And it's like a frosted glass bottle. It's just very nice. It doesn't have anything extra either. Like this is the front and then... Neither of the other sides have any writing on them, which I really like about the packaging. And then on the front, front and center down here, it says cruelty-free, vegan, and gluten-free. So I love this. I'm excited about it. The lid goes on super nice too. It's just got like a pretty secure closure. So really, really like this. So I'm just going to kind of dot some of this on. I'm not sure how much to use. I thought building it up would be the best bet. So I'm not even using like half of what I just put on my hand. And I think let's use the brush first. So I'm using this one from It Cosmetics. It's their dual-ended foundation and concealer brush, I guess. I don't really know what it's called. I'm sure with a foundation like this, you could probably use your hands, your fingers, but I really don't like putting foundation on with my hands, so. I feel like my preference with this is going to be to spread it out with a brush and then go over it with a sponge. So it definitely just kind of evens out the skin tones. Definitely light coverage. Um, I do want to see if we can kind of build it up a little bit, but this is what it's looking like now. I do think this color is going to work. And I'm just going to get a little bit more from the back of my hand instead of dotting it with my finger on. But yeah, I do think this color is going to work. And I feel bad using that SPF before this because I haven't used that SPF but maybe like six or seven times on my skin. But 
I'm gonna be outside all day so I can't like not use SPF and now that the beach shield isn't actually like PA++++ <laughs> I don't know what I'm putting on my skin with that and I didn't want to use my super gloop glow screen because that would give like a really glowy base and then I feel like you wouldn't be able to see the sheen of this foundation really well so hopefully you guys don't mind I'm noticing that it's kind of clinging to this area here this is usually where I'm the driest as well as right here above my lip I think this part is the sunscreen though. Um, yeah, I think that might be just because that's underneath it. Uh, back here is not really noticeable. Like that's if I'm being really picky, but I do notice this area right off the bat. So um, I guess I'll just go ahead and do a sponge on one side and then we might pat this side in with a sponge. I'm looking like I kind of want to do that because I can see a few streaks, but overall I really do like it. And you can see here the difference of nothing on my eyelid either. I'm just gonna use concealer on my eyelid, but I really like this. It's a nice like light coverage for every day. I did use most of what was on the back of my hand. I do feel like it is slightly too golden for me, but I kind of knew that going in that that would be a possibility. But I think once I get all my makeup on, it will probably be fine. So I'm just gonna kind of do the same thing on this side. So first I'm gonna dot it all over, then I'll use the sponge, and then I'll go in with the sponge and pick up everything on the back of my hand, just so we can kind of see like what it would be like. The coverage definitely is slightly sheared out, but I don't think it's too sheared with this. But I, looking at it, I'm loving the sponge side a lot better, like how it's looking at the end, as far as just there's not brush strokes or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the rest of this with my sponge and put that all over. So obviously it's like super glowy on this side and it's still glowy with the brush side, but just not as much. Yeah, where it's noticeable here, it's not noticeable on this side. And I haven't like microbladed my face in a while. So I do have like a good bit of peach fuzz right there. And I think it's just clinging to that, but it's not doing it on the sponge side. I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't really like want to show this, but I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see super well. But yeah, it's like clinging to any like peach fuzz or anything on my face. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and go over the side with the sponge. But here is the whole side with just the brush versus just the sponge. Um, I do think my preferred method would just be either to use brush first and then go over with the sponge for that finish or just to use the sponge from the get go. I feel like you're going to use the same amount so yeah i do think the coverage is like pretty close to each other i really like the finish of this if i remember tonight i will do a check-in i'm going on a hike later and i hit my voice box when i said that but i'm going on a hike later and i'm also going to be outside working on some stuff for most of the day today so i mean it's gonna it's gonna be put through the ringer so We'll see how it holds up. I don't, I'm not expecting this to be like the best foundation ever, like holding up to that because you don't need to wear makeup to go on a hike, but like I wanted to try this foundation. So anyways, um, I really, really like how it looks. I've never tried a serum foundation before, so I don't have a ton to compare it to, but I like how it's looking. I don't, I mean, obviously it didn't cover up everything, but I do feel like it covered up enough and like evened out the skin tone. I think the color is fine with my neck and everything. I'm super happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back to talk about it a little bit more. All right, I finished the rest of my makeup and I really, really like how this foundation is looking. So I'm super excited about this and I'm excited to see how it wears throughout the rest of the day. So I just think that it looks really fresh and easy for like every day. Um, it's not anything like super crazy. Like you can still see a little bit of redness. I did add a little bit of concealer 
and I did my makeup like I usually would. I did use all cream products. However, I did use a setting powder underneath the eyes and like the forehead area and right around my mouth. I always use powder there, so I feel like that makes the most sense. So yeah, this is kind of what it's looking like now. Hopefully you can see it the same way that I'm seeing it in person, but I really enjoy this foundation. I think the shade actually works really well for me. I pulled a little too much bronzer down here, but it's fine. But yeah, I think that this shade works pretty well with my skin. And especially after I got done with the rest of my makeup, I do think that it turned out really nicely. So yeah, I'm super excited to keep using this and I will try and give you an update tonight. All right, you guys, I look like a mess, but I wanted to give you a check-in of the foundation. It's completely rubbed off my nose and that's honestly the only thing that I really notice right now. About half of the day I noticed that my under eyes were a little bit cracked, but I just like tapped them out and then they were fine. But I mean, I'm like pretty impressed. Like I said, I was outside like all day today working on stuff and then we even went on a hike. So I got really sweaty and it held up pretty well. Um, I think again that the color looked really good all day. Um, I'm just noticing here, like it's slightly darker and I, I think that's like the lighting and then I had concealer and powder on as well, but overall, as far as this goes, this is kind of what it's looking like now. All right, you guys, with that being said, that's going to be it for me today and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Bye.